Hi there, this is Save with Crypto. Now I really know that I should be making this video about all things very current at the moment, such as MyR, Hold, and Utrust. Uh, however, I just want to show you um, something from the copy trade um, thing as well. This guy Lassong, I know he's full, at least I think he is anyway, but he's done some blinding trades recently. Um, this one yesterday, he went short at 31,929 on Bitcoin and then closed it at 31,447. And that made me a $51 profit. And I think that was like 26% or something like that. And then uh, the day before, he went long, no, short, short at 30,864 and then closed at 30,465. Um, making uh, that made, only made me a dollar actually, but it was uh, you know percentage wise it was okay. Um, but oh, at the same time, yeah, pretty much the same time he did this one, a similar kind of trade going in at thirty thousand six hundred sixty six and shorting it down to thirty thousand four hundred fifty six, making me twenty one dollars. Um, this has been really good so far. I set this up at about five hundred dollars a few days ago and it's now seven hundred and twenty five so it's uh it's a significant amount of uh of, of profit i think um what i was going to say is uh i've been talking to a friend of mine who's been doing a bit of copy trading and uh he's frustrated about a few things uh one thing is you can't follow multiple traders yeah i know this is a problem i mean i don't even want to follow that many if i could follow say six uh, I'd be more than happy but at the moment you can only follow one which is why I'm doing it with multiple accounts uh, so I can follow four uh, just to find out which one's the best and uh, I must admit Lassong is doing great now what I was going to say I think I've done this already but if you've got the amount of equity there and you've got a trade that's finished right um, what you need to do if, if you want to compound your gains is you need to get that figure there and then copy that into there and save it again. Because if you don't do that, it's not going to compound your gains. And uh, I think that would be a really nice feature if it had here order cost and it had like the USDT value, or it said something like 100% of the equity, or maybe a sliding scale with a percentage thing on. I think that would be like really good. So that's probably my my slight frustration there. Uh, and the friend I was talking to as well, he would like to have been sort of notified when trades close and open and all that. Uh, to be honest, I don't care really because uh, you know I, I think if these guys are doing okay, then I quite like to just forget about it for a few days, come back and have a look and see how much I've made, and then try and catch it. This is the annoying part: try and catch it when there are no copy trades in in place, so that you can copy the available balance into the order cost and then you'll be trading with the uh, maximum amount which is uh, what I want to do to to share the um, the gains I'm making. If you're interested in copy trading go over to savercrypto.org slash buy bit and that will get you up to a $4,050 bonus depending on how much you deposit. Right, at this point in time, I should really tell you guys to please like the video uh, because I haven't been getting so many likes and shares and new subscribers and all that kind of thing lately. So it'd be nice to see the channel grow a little bit more to uh, to give me a bit of encouragement to do more stuff. You know, just grow the channel. Anyway, my friend did uh, share the screenshot that he had done with his copy trading. And so that shows that he had you know, equity of uh, 37.84 uh, US dollars and uh, he made a net profit of $1.4. And I think that was in about three days, I think it was. So, uh, and this is using Quant Trader, one of the principal traders. So let's just have a look at that in the, the old compound calculator. And I think the one I like to use is called Compound Daily. So let's say, for example, that his initial outlay was $38 and every three days or so he's making a dollar. So every week, say, he's making $2. So um, what we could say is that um, 2 divided by 38 equals that. Uh, so it's about it's about 5% um, is what he's making per week. Okay, so... Let's just work this out. So let's say 
the principal amount was $38 and you're making 5% compound frequency is weekly. Okay, and you're going to run this for, I don't know, one year. You're not going to pay yourself, um, so let's just calculate that. So what does your $38 turn into? So let's say we use the compound daily uh, calculator. Now what we need here is the initial purchase amount, which is $38. And then the daily interest rate, okay. Well, we said something like 5% a week. So five divided by seven, let's do that. Five divided by seven equals 0 0.714. Okay, so call it um, interest of 0.71. Now this is fairly conservative because I reckon you can easily get 1% a day um, if you choose the right trader. Uh, length of term, let's call it a year, so 365 days. Um, now let's say daily we reinvest 100%, and that includes weekends. So this would rely on you having to sort of uh, find a bit between trades uh, when you can reinvest the whole sum. And that would be starting today on the 1st of June. So let's calculate that. So let's see how much the $38 grows. Okay. So the $38 would grow to $502 in one year, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Now the fun starts when you think, well, maybe I could actually invest something like uh, $380 uh, rather than $38, and then you work out how much that would earn. And that would actually be $5,000 uh, over the year. The problem you get there is at the moment, the maximum you can invest in the copy trading is $1,000. The actual account can be as much as you like. There's no cap on that, but at any point in time, only $1,000 will be invested. That's why I'm looking into other platforms such as Prime XBT, uh, where we might be able to invest more, uh, maybe have multiple traders, that kind of thing. But in principle, you know, the idea of finding a good trader to follow and uh, you know, just keep, keeping a note of, uh, of what you're earning, working out if he's doing well, if he's doing badly. If not, think about swapping the trader out for a different one. Uh, but generally, I think if you're making one percent a day, I think you're uh, you're doing well. And uh, obviously, you know, if we start talking about larger sums like a thousand dollars, then the amount you're making in one year, even at 0.71 percent. Um, is going to be more like 13,000 a year. And if you could push that to 1%, then with $1,000, you're looking at nearly $38,000 a year, which uh, is a reasonable wage in my mind. Now, I really didn't intend this video to be all about copy trading, but it seems to become that. But I, I just thought I'd show you my results anyway here on the 1st of uh, June. So uh, Positive Lee was the first copy trader I used. He's up 27.2%. Uh, Super Lucky. Super Lucky is a weird one because Super Lucky seemed to go like kind of underwater for a long, long, long time and then kind of pop his head up again and then close the trade. And always seems to come out pretty good. And currently he's 26.28% up. Then you've got this Korean guy there. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, he's actually up 32 0.51%. doesn't seem to trade that often, but when he does, he seems to get it just right. And this last song one seems to be doing really good for me. And uh, his recent trades in the past few days have been great. Um, and he's up to 96.6% from uh, the original that I started with. So, you know, with someone like him, you could have doubled your money in about 15 days. So this has all got me thinking about the, the compound idea again. And this is the amount you'd need to start off with if in one year you wanted to make a million dollars, right? You need to start off with like $26,467, which is the price of a reasonable car, I suppose. Um, and you'd need to make 1% a day doing something that could be copy trading, trading. Um, it's difficult to get that with yield farming, but it might work out in the long run, we'll see. Um, so length of term, 365 days, daily reinvestment, you're re investing all of it, and you include weekends, because why not? And that would mean you started off with $26,467 today, on the 1st of June, 2022, and that would have grown to $1,014.11 by June the 1st next year.
this is the wonders of compound interest, compound gains, if you like. So all I'd say for the moment is uh, if you are doing the copy trading, um, I have a sort of longer term uh, view to it. I mean, I know the limit is a thousand dollars that will ever get traded. So try and get to that thousand dollars and then I'll be on the lookout for other ways that you can do it. And I think I'll be looking at Prime XBT very, very soon because I believe that will be the answer to that. Uh, although I'm not 100% sure. If anybody knows anything about Prime XBT and the copy trading feature, then please let me know down below. I know there are other platforms to do copy trading, but uh, I want to stick with the ones that I kind of know and have heard of and I trust, because uh, obviously there's a lot of dodgy exchanges out there who maybe aren't as secure as we'd like them to be. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Um, I, I will definitely do a MyR video soon because I need to talk about Utrust because I'm really not quite sure exactly what's going on there. I'm not quite sure what we should be doing for the best and I'm not quite sure what Elrond are up to. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's all good but I just don't quite understand it at the moment. To sum it up very briefly, I've got Utrust on the Hold app so that if I use my Hold card I get 2% of the purchase back in Utrust. Now I think that's become one and a half percent now and uh, there are now different staking tiers now that it's joined Elrond. So I don't know exactly what's going on there but I will update you soon when I have more of a clue about that. Okay so sorry about the rambly end and uh, yet another copy trading video but uh, if you have enjoyed it give the video a like. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it click dislike twice but do leave a nice comment and uh, make sure you're subscribed and you've got the notifications set on all and above all tell your friends